Hi, today I'm reviewing the Number Zen Number 5 Vitamin Concentrated Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or video. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, check out the links below to Yes Style or uh, click on my Patreon community. Okay, so Number Zen, they're getting big. Uh, gosh, when they come around, they've been around, what, a couple of years? Maybe one or two years. They're a pretty new brand. Uh, at least to me, maybe in other areas not so much, but pretty new to me. I think the first product I tried from them was their uh, Ferment Toner, and now I've had a chance to try some other things from them and uh, overall impressed with a lot of them. A lot of them are very friendly for different skin types, and a lot of them are fragrance-free. So, Okay, so I was very tuned into this because I love vitamins, I love antioxidants, and this is full of it. So... Uh, okay, an intensive vitamin ampule that brightens skin and reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation. Ta-da! Is there anything else I need more than that? There is not. Hyperpigmentation, the struggle, is real for a decade now. Uh, okay, containing whitening properties, featured is glutathione, which evens your skin tone and helps with antioxidizing. Includes niacinamide to moisturize your skin for a healthy complexion. I wouldn't necessarily call niacinamide the most moisturizing ingredient, but anyway. Okay. On to the review, and I just love their packaging. I, I love, look at that, it's like duochrome. <laughs> it's duochrome, I don't know. Anyway, I love that. Shiny. I'm attracted to shiny things. So, okay, first criteria is packaging. We've got a glass dropper bottle. It is opaque, which I can grow to appreciate because not enough brands use opaque packaging for strong antioxidants. There's a lot of brands that are good about it, geeking gorgeous. They're great with their packaging, but not, and the ordinary is pretty good too with actives using opaque packaging, but not enough brands do that. So I'm happy to see that. And I like the black dropper bottle because it stands out amongst my collection of everything else looking the same. Okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, and some of you like it, it's fine. I, I Whatever, I just think people should know if it's in there. Some people might like it, some people might not. So there's none in here. Uh, it's also fragrance free, although the instant you apply it, it does have, it has like almost a little bit of a like a sunscreeny smell to it. And then it dissipates immediately and it's gone. So it could be just in my head, which is highly possible because we've got a lot going on up here, <laughs> crazy and non-crazy things. But I thought I would mention that. Maybe somebody else notices the same thing or maybe everyone's going to say, I don't notice any smell. So, but there's no really added fragrance ingredients. So I'd rather them just have that natural smell than covered up with something. Because a lot of brands do that. They'll cover up like a smell of alcohol or a smell of a filter, sunscreen filter, and then it's just too much. Okay, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues with that. I guess I'll do a pH test since there is uh, sorbic acid in here. Uh, the first ingredient is not water, so uh, it's lingonberry extract. So I, water's like the fifth ingredient, so I... I I'm not sure how that affects the pH, so I guess we'll find out what the pH of this is, but I think without water being the first ingredient, it might not be terribly accurate in terms of the actual pH, so keep that in mind. Okay, so pH of this one looks to be about 5-ish. Can you guys see that? 5, 5.5. So, I mean, I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing with water not being the first ingredient. It's probably not super accurate. There's probably another way you have to measure it, so anyway. Okay, so ease of use. So it's got a really nice texture to it. It's got kind of a, kind of a, almost like a viscous gel water texture to it. And a little bit of it goes a long way. It's not super liquidy where you feel like it's dripping into your eyeballs. Like some vitamin C serums are super watery. And then they get, I got one in my eye the other day and that was not enjoyable. So I don't recommend getting a sorbic gas in your eyes. It's not, doesn't make for a fun morning. Uh, anyway, so this texture, this one's really nice. It's not too thick, but it's uh, a little bit of it still goes a long way. I would say a half a dropper ball is enough to cover your face and neck, and it feels really nice. So you can use this one in the more. I recommend using uh, antioxidants and vitamin C products in your morning routine uh, because they help your sunscreen work better. They protect your skin from pollution and free radical damage and just bad air and things like that. So in the morning after cleansing and toning, apply this as your next step. Three to four drops on face and neck uh, and then give it a minute to soak in and then apply your moisturizer or your sunscreen so a little bit of it goes a long way and it sets to a natural finish it does take like a minute to soak in 
So usually my morning routine, I'll start to apply my topical products. Then I'll do my hair while certain ones soak in. And then by the time I'm done doing my hair, then I'm ready for the next one because vitamin C want it to soak in for a minute or two. Uh, so anyway, so it works well. Once it soaks in, it sets to a natural finish and it's just a little bit slightly tacky, but not noticeably so. Uh, to the point where it makes it uncomfortable or anything like that and it works great under sunscreen and moisturizer too so some vitamin c serums i think the ph is so low that uh, certain product moisturizer over them kind of disintegrate i didn't have that issue at all with this one so very nice very easy to use wonderful texture feels really nice on the skin so okay so i will get to the beneficial ingredients in one second okay let me talk about animal testing so numbuzin is cruelty free uh, I'm not sure if they're vegan, but uh, at this point, this one's cruelty-free from everything I can read. I'm not sure about vegan status, but I'll try and find out because I know it's an important one for a lot of you. Uh, okay, in terms of performance, this one feels super calming and hydrating on my skin, which is really nice. It's unlike a lot of other vitamin C serums. A lot of vitamin C serums don't feel super calming or hydrating on your skin. They give you a glow, they help with hyperpigmentation, but they don't feel like super great on your skin a lot of them don't some do but most of them don't um i do believe this has helped brighten my skin a bit uh my skin enjoys this one it's a gentle vitamin c serum with several different types of vitamin c uh and so for that ethyl ascorbic acid we've got ascorbic acid ascorbyl glucoside uh three different types of vitamin c or two der derivatives and then the main one um, the ph of this one's more gentle than other types of vitamin c so this might be a good option for sensitive skin there's a lot of people that the pH of vitamin C is so low, their skin just doesn't tolerate it well. Or for people that might have damaged skin barrier, uh, dehydrated skin, vitamin C might be too much or too acidic, so this is something to consider. Uh, super friendly for all skin types, including acne-prone skin. So for acne-prone skin, uh, we've only got vitamin E and carbomer of note. So that's a not too bad, especially when we've got a good list of ingredients in here. So... Um, okay, so in terms of beneficial ingredients, so for antioxidants, we've got that lingonberry extract, which is the first ingredient. It's, a, uh, it's an extract that's rich in antioxidants and has significant skin calming properties, and it's a good source of the beneficial mineral manganese. Then we've got alpha arbutin, which is a good antioxidant and also brightening. Turmeric, uh, then we've got that 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, uh, ascorbic acid, vitamin E, Asorbyl glucoside, uh, ubiquinone, or CoQ10. We've got thiotic acid, which is an, uh, another good antioxidant. So we've got tons of good antioxidants in here, and they are all really good for brightening skin up too. Uh, in terms of anti-acne ingredients, we have niacinamide in there. For cell communicating ingredients, we've got niacinamide, adenosine, so two cell communicating ingredients. Let's see, uh, let's see. Okay, next up we've got, I'm trying to make heads or tails of my writing. Brightening ingredients, sorry. For skin brightening ingredients, we've got a whole ton of them. Alpha arbutin, turmeric, tranexamic acid. Uh, tranexamic acid is a very interesting topical drug. It's been used uh, as a supplement for uh, like blood disorders for a long time and now it's been found to be great topically too. Uh, 3-O ethyl ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid, ascorbyl glucoside, those are all brightening ingredients, especially the tranexamic acid and turmeric are great for that. Okay, in terms of skin identical ingredients or ones that are kind of hydrating or moisturizing, we've got sodium hyaluronic, glycerin, ceramide NP. Uh, okay, next up I've got skin soothing ingredients. So for those, we've got panthenol, tranexamic acid, turmeric, bisabolul, alantoin, alant. I always want to say elantlin, elantoin, beta-glucan, uh, licorice root. Licorice root's also a good brightening ingredient as well. And then in terms of hydrating ingredients, we've got sorbitol, which is a sugar-derived ingredient, shea butter, and then lecithin. So really nice list. Antioxidants, soothing ingredients, brightening ingredients, um, hydrating ingredients, antioxidants. I mean, it's got it all in here, and it's amazing that they were able to fit all that and uh, into a nice serum that's aesthetically pleasing to use because a lot of things when they fit a lot of ingredients in they end up being like not feeling nice on the skin or i don't know or they just end up being so darn expensive you can't even afford them so okay there you go so it's really soaked in and it feels really nice on my skin 
In terms of the price, so this is the full size, one ounce, 30 milliliters, and retails for about $23, depending on where you pick it up. So it's a pretty good deal. A little bit of it goes a pretty long way and it'll last you a while. So, okay, last but not least, the terms of the it factor. So I've really enjoyed this serum. I'd say I've got a couple weeks probably left in the bottle, so I'm definitely going to finish it up because I really enjoy it. Um, and the other thing is after, after uh, a few days, I combined it with my, some of my regular serums from Geek and Gorgeous, and they seem to complement each other nicely. I, I don't necessarily recommend everyone do that because of a sensitization issue, but when I combined, uh, so when I did that, I used cleansed, toned, applied the Geek and Gorgeous Vitamin C Serum, gave it like two minutes to soak in, then I applied this one, and then after that I directly went to sunscreen, and it seemed to work really nicely. So I don't recommend people do that because it might be too much vitamin C for one person or one person's skin, but it seemed to be okay, so it seemed to complement each other. Uh, I enjoy the fact that this formula is pretty friendly for most skin types, dry, oily, combo, sensitive, acne-prone skin. I really uh, think it'll be a winner for majority of people with the exception of those with the most sensitive skin because of just a number of ingredients sensitive very sensitive skin i think is but typically simple is better not a whole long list but anyway total winner and combining on combining a lot of brightening ingredients and vitamin c together i really enjoyed this one so uh okay so with the 10 being a perfect square this one at 10 am i getting soft i don't know or have i just really been enjoying these i know I'm going to have to find something I really dislike and rip it to shreds next. So, anyway. Okay. <laughs> What's that expensive one? Exp oh, La Mer? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can do that. I can't afford their, like, most recent resurfacing serum. is like, 800 euros, so I really... It's like a house payment or something, so I don't want to do that. But anyway. Interesting hearing from you guys. If you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.